Go. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Carolyn, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Nina, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm so good. I'm so glad that we get to chat again. I think this is kind of like the third time that we, we're having a chance to, to connect, which is so lovely because before the seven-day clean eating challenge, I had no idea who you were and what you were about. And it's so nice just to, to meet a new person. Yeah. So, um, and you are now in? Northern Italy. <laughs> Northern Italy. Love yeah. It. Lovely. So I thought we would have like a little chat and insight into kind of like your thoughts and takeaways with the seven day clean eating challenge. Um, and so pretty much maybe let me just get into a couple of questions and you can answer. So how is it that you actually joined our seven day clean eating, clean eating challenge? Yeah, so I was actually invited by my childhood best friend Karen um I think she has done the challenge and works with you um and she invited me to join the challenge so I said yes awesome awesome yeah Karen has I think this is the second time that she's been on the challenge and she is in my my full year-long program and when yeah. people join they get like two invites um, for a clean eating challenge that they're allowed to um, invite two friends so you are what one of her lucky lucky ones and it's such yeah. a nice way of you know bringing nice friends into into the community so okay so it's good enough like getting an invite to join something especially something that you don't really know much about what made you actually decide to say yes in the end and not yeah. like oh, thank you but no not right now well it was actually multiple factors it all just came together I think the most the nicest thing was that because I'm so far away from my friend Karen it was nice to be able to do something together and in that way we, we could be in touch for a, for even more reasons than normal to you know check in with each other every single day so it's a really nice way to keep in touch with people if you're living far away from them and uh, also with the change of seasons so this is October now and we're going into winter and I really wanted to use this opportunity to sort of boost my immune system see what I can do with that and maybe lose some weight <laughs> and then I suppose the other thing is that I thought and I do feel like I generally I'm quite a healthy person I grow my own vegetables but I'm always keen to learn what is actually clean eating, clean eating, what does it actually mean? And what I really liked about how you, the language you used on your website and how you promoted the challenge is that you tailor it to what you want out of it. So you took that pressure away from you have to do X, Y, and Z. And it's almost, it, you made sure that it wasn't positioned and it's, and it's not just another list that we have to add to our to-do list on a daily basis and I really liked your approach to how you were selling it so those three combinations being able to be with my Mikey in touch on a daily basis change of seasons immune boosting and your approach it all just came together and I was like yes I'm gonna do it and I'm glad I did I'm so I'm so glad to hear that because that is that is such a lovely part. We forget how nice it is to actually like have that community aspect of it. So you know, like you're saying, like with you and Car, and um, just having a chance to connect and it, it be about something different than it would normally be. Your conversation yeah. would normally be, but something that is positive, uplifting, and moving you in a in a healthier direction. Um, yeah. So so that is really cool and. Um, the fact that you were were saying as well, you know, at this change of season, because, you know, no matter where we are in the world, there's always a change of season and gearing ourselves for whatever it is, you know, if, you know, most of the people who are in the Southern Hemisphere, they just come out of winter and wanted to, you know, ease into spring where you were the opposite, you know, you were like in winter and I mean, in summer and wanting to, you know, how, how can I get healthy for a nice yeah. Italian winter <laughs> heading your way? Um, exactly. and, and, and so it doesn't matter kind of like what season it is. Um, it's it sounds like it's always always possible and I love the way that you were saying that kind of like the approach and that's one thing that I've been working hard with is like it's not like a set 
list of rules and this is what you can eat and this is what you can't eat but it's really tailored to what you're needing um you know yeah. some people are needing nourishment some people are needing lightness um and and really working at it from a more kind of loving perspective and holistic view than just like you're saying another list of rules or something like that to go by mm. so, great so pretty much and and I love this question for everyone, but like, what is it that happened for you this week? Because we all come in with perceptions or ideas that, you know, this is what we want to happen. But but what is it that actually happened for you during this week? So just to like for anyone who's interested in doing a seven day eating clean eating challenge with Nina, like this is what happened with this was my experience. So the challenge is I even though it's seven days, it starts Monday morning and ends with a uh, a closing call on on the following Monday, so you got a full seven days. Before the Monday morning uh, kickoff call, you will receive. I received an, a welcome email, so at least I got to see Nina's face, and she had a video explaining what what to expect and with a yoga practice, etc. And um, on the Monday morning, you I jumped into the call, and it was so lovely to see the wider group of of people that were of the ladies that took part and it sort of just gave you a bit of a feeling like yet yeah, you're in the right place um at the for the challenge i did end up having a meal plan for the week and i decided to do intermittent intermittent fasting i decided i want to do 16 8 so that meant i don't eat anything for 16 hours and I had an eight hour window period where I could eat normally. Um, for me, that meant I would make sure that I've had my dinner and everything by 8 p.m. Some people might think that's quite late, but that would mean that I could have my lunch or, um, from 12 onwards. So what I did is I, I made sure that my lunch was between 12 and 2, depending on how, what was happening in the day and what was feasible and I would try to make lunch my main meal so that was quite a change for me because normally dinner is my main meal because it's the excitement at the end of the day because I love food and uh, I would try and have much a, a very much more a lighter meal in the evenings and I would make sure that as I said earlier that I would by 8 p.m I'm done and that's it a big thing was no snacking in between those two meals um, specifically for the seven day challenge and I made sure that I drank a minimum of two liters of water a day uh, I am a bit of a I love my coffee but and I still carried on drinking coffee but I didn't have it with milk I I think they call it a bullet coffee with, <laughs> with a <laughs> coffee, coffee. Mm. Yeah. so I still allowed myself that in the mornings um and then on a daily basis, I received an email from Nina, which will give you sort of a focus for the day and a link to the challenge hub, which had a really good mix of information. Every day there would be a theme. So, for example, on day one, it's Earth, which spoke about more about what kind of foods you should maybe stay away from or or um or increase and then on the last day was about a connection so making sure that uh, sort of reevaluating the people in your life and uh, you know what kind of impact they have on you and just having taking that time out to think about those kind of things and um, the hub also has information which you can go through in your own time and when it when it, uh, it suits you and it had a nice mix of a yoga practice that you could do or links to articles and also I, what I found quite nice about the hub is that there is information that is top level and basic information but then also for those people who really want to dig into a certain thing that resonates to them there's additional information on there so again you can take what you what works for you for the challenge um we also had a midweek call with the whole group which was also a really nice opportunity to share tips and advice um which i thought was really great and as a newbie um it is a lot of information but and i didn't have a meal plan from day one and i didn't have a specific goal etc 
but through this challenge it really helps you and Nina will help you sort of question what do you really want out of the challenge why 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 what are those small steps that you can make in your day to day to help you achieve your goal and I as I said there's a lot of information but I took on board what resonated with me so yeah it was a really eye-opening lovely experience <laughs> I'm I'm so glad to hear that, Colin. And I love the 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 way kind of like you know you've explained you know what's in the hub and also like that there's all this information, but you can kind of like pick and choose what works for you. Um, I know for some people who who are like me, you know, where we've got a high pitter, we like you know like the A type personality. It kind of like also also gives you the option like mark as complete and it's like tick <laughs> and you can go to the next thing. Yeah. Um, some people are not into the hub at all. It's yeah. kind of like order and you know organization that that, yeah. that is a big one so um lovely lovely to hear also kind of like what happened for you and for those who do know me they'll know that I do love asking the question like why like oh. so why do you want to do it so what is the purpose um and, and that is a big thing because I really feel that like when we know our why um oh. that we're able to commit to something so much more more fully Mm -hmm. um, so like kind of like in the seven days that that you know you were exploring this new way of operating what did you find was uh probably like the most insightful or the most valuable for for you mm -hmm. well there were, there were a couple of things there can't just be one because there's yeah. um definitely that this clean eating is definitely a journey um and i found i think on the first day we discussed or even in the intro in your welcome video you discuss like making small changes and repeating them and so that they become part of the habit of cleaner a cleaner lifestyle um is a is a huge thing and even in seven days i've just i'm i just see the tip of the iceberg in terms of what's possible um I definitely learned that I do not drink enough water, even though I thought I did. Uh, I think one of the most valuable things as well was planning. It really helps if you take the time out, even if it's half an hour, just to plan your meals, know what you're going to buy in the shops. Though That kind of planning helps you to not fall off the <laughs> bad eating bandwagon. <laughs> which sometimes which happened once because I went shopping very hungry <laughs> you make poor decisions you make very poor decisions in, in, <laughs> yeah. in those times and yeah. it's, it's so true it's like kind of like that that meal plan we often and I know I'm totally like that so resistant to doing it because like meal plan like that's like a diet plan and I'm only allowed to stick to it but I find like if, if we have more of like again an open holistic approach to like a meal plan and just use it more like as ideas it's kind of like yeah. you know I'm going to do like a vegetable Thai curry on this day or you know this is going to be fish or I'm going to make a stew here or then at least like you're saying when you go shopping you don't just end up buying everything that's there you can't you know exactly what you need to buy and you end up saving money as well because you've yeah. got a bit of a plan in place um mm -hmm. or at least if you go to like a farmer's market and you bring in a whole load of vegetables you know exactly what veggies you've got and you can then orient or plan your your meals for the week mm -hmm. so yeah that's a that's a major point plus point is you do save money when you're a bit more organized and have have really thought about <laughs> what you really need mm -hmm. um i think we forget that we yeah mm -hmm. um and I suppose the other thing, again, it's the tip of the iceberg thing. But for me, I'm in my early 40s and I found really what was interesting was how we could use diet and intermittent fasting for helping to balance our hormones and sort of ease the menstrual problems. Um, so it, it's it's you've opened that door and there's so much more information out there that i'm like really keen to learn about and 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 again pick the things that work for me the type of food that i should be uh 
et cetera. Um, then the other most valuable thing was definitely the community that was, and the, the almost like the sisterhood, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Everybody was on their own journey. They were at their own stages. Um, there was a good mix of newbies and those who had done the challenges before. There was definitely no judgment on anyone, which was a lovely uh, sort of culture within the team or in the group. And also just lovely, great practical advice was shared over that that week. Um, yeah, those that was very a, va a very valuable component. Yes, we can all do our own seven day clean eating challenges, but doing it in a group is just so much more powerful because you you sort of make yourself more accountable because there are more other people to help you be like that. It's not to force you. They they're there to help, which is great. <laughs> and I love I love that distinction between like like it's not forcing um and it's and it's not pressure or anything like that, but it's just it's like this this group com 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 camaraderie. <laughs> <laughs> where, where everyone's there just to motivate and we're not looking for perfectionism we're not wanting to be the star pupil like I mean you and me we both had birthdays this month we never <laughs> having a birthday well you know in the clean eating challenge and we still had fun we still had our little spoils and whatnot so yeah. it's not about like completely saying no to things but it's understanding what is happening in our environment and how we can navigate a certain challenge in the way best for us so that it can bring us the the best benefit and i think when we're when we're in a group where everyone is like you're saying everyone is on their own journey had their own goal i don't think anyone had the same you yeah. know goal or out, you know what what is the same outcome but we were all in this kind of like the soup together, mixing together and sharing. I think that was the big thing. I think we got so much insight from each other um, yeah. that 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 yeah. is always so helpful. That's the beauty of like a, a, a being in, in a dynamic group and yeah. that support. So what do you think moving forward you're going to carry on doing just on a day-to-day -day process? Because it's like, it's always good and fun to do like a seven-day eating challenge. But like, I love it when participants just even if it's just one thing that they take with it they're going to keep doing because they know that that was like a big shift for them mm -hmm. the one thing I probably of of the three or four things I hope to carry on doing but the one that I probably would is my hydration uh, every morning make sure that I have my liter jug there my liter flask that it's there so at least I am more conscious of am I drinking enough <laughs> um, I would like to continue the intermittent fasting the 16-8 I've I would like to commit to four times a month so <laughs> we'll see I don't want to overcommit and then feel like I failed fantastic uh, exactly it's the Kaizen <laughs> approach it's like the small step like what is doable yeah. Doable, that's not going to make you kind of like fail but is that it's going to shift me out. I don't want to be stressed about about exactly. it exactly yeah exactly. and then I would definitely it seems like green leafy vegetables are very popular <laughs> so I'm just gonna make sure that I grow them quite well in the garden so we always have some to eat and then Another thing, which I think it's a bit of a stretch, but I, I would like to challenge myself is the sort of decluttering. Like, what's the one thing that I want to declutter in my life? Like, whether it's one drawer this week, changing my winter and summer clothes the other week. Like, what is that? I, I want to, I would like to look at, we just have, I just feel I have stuff. Like, I don't want to have so much stuff. I want to free myself from that. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I stick to decluttering once a week, something, something. as small as it can be. <laughs> I yeah, don't it know. could just be a drawer. It could be the handbag. It could be the cubby hole in the, the car. It could be, you know, yeah. the bathroom cabinet or going through the medicines. But I yeah. often find that like decluttering, that's the first kind of like shift of energy. When we, yeah. when we shift the energy there, then we just create space for possibility and, and yeah. Great one. I, really, I like the idea of the medicine cabinet. <laughs> I'm going to add it to my list of things to declutter. <laughs> You'll be surprised how many expired med yes. medicines and ointments and things you find in there. And you're just like, oh my goodness me, this is from my grandmother still or something. Yeah. 
or like those samples that you get when i don't know when you're out shopping or in magazines and stuff i've I have loads of them. I'm sure most of them are out of date by now. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's like, well, they're, they're not they're not serving anyone in my cupboard. So yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> great. And so, Caroline, uh, thank you so much for having taken the time and uh, uh, you know to chat with me. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think this would be something you would do again? Because it sounds like you got so much benefit from the first time. Like, do you think you would try it? again yes definitely and i'm really interested in finding out what are the other things that will resonate with me the next time around because i think this is definitely a journey where we're yeah learning and picking up what works for individually what works for us and yeah so definitely i'm it's for me it's a no-brainer <laughs> <laughs> brilliant and i think that's lovely because it's kind of is like that 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 upward spiral and um, like you know some of the the lady shared you know some of them were doing it for the third time and it's pretty much the same content but they were just hearing it or seeing it from a different angle they had a different goal um mm -hmm. and sometimes it's always just so nice to have this little pause in our in our lives where we take stock to okay what yeah. is needed right now and and how you know what can I do to improve so amazing brilliant 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 thank you so much for chatting thank you for the great oh. experience <laughs> what happened oh bless you <laughs> apologies yeah thank you so much and um, I'm so excited to to be seeing you again on the next one so yeah thank you and Maybe if anyone wants to chat to you about kind of like finding out more, if it's really yeah. worth, worth the investment, maybe we'll let them get hold of you. If that's okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks for your time. And yeah, we'll be in touch. Mm -hmm.